Hollywood execs looking for an answer to the film industry's diversity crisis may want to look to Brooklyn. Zachary Keish takes us to a film school that is trying to level the playing field. I think having a public graduate film school on a working lot is the antidote to the lack of diversity in Hollywood. And I think that is part of how New York excels at this business over the long term. The more diverse it is, the better the product. On the banks of Brooklyn's Navy Yard, there's an exercise in collaboration happening that could be the answer to Hollywood's inclusion crisis. It's absurd. There's no other word for it. And that's why this place exists. Student Victoria Alvarez is part of the first class. She has access to Steiner Studios, the largest stage space east of L.A. through Brooklyn College's Fierstein Graduate School of Cinema, the only public school on a working lot in the country. Founder Doug Steiner. The whole goal was to do away with this kind of ivory tower scenario. Yeah, instead of being trained in a school and being remote from what you're going into, it's surrounding you every day, and hopefully the social connections you make in the elevator or outside smoking a cigarette or, or just uh, talking to people is how you get your first gig. Since the studios opened in 2004, they've expanded five times, and the plan is to break ground on another six stages shortly. There are now more new dramas shot right here in New York City than L.A. And according to Mr. Steiner, that translates to real jobs. About 80,000 directly and indirectly created through the film industry, like the ones right here in the scenic shop where they're working on the new pilot, The Interestings. Right now, New York is really on a tear. We have Gotham, Vinyl, Blind Spot, Power, uh, The Affair. It means students are getting a chance to see how the business really works. The school offers two and three year degrees and they're getting it for about a third or even a quarter of what it costs to attend private schools like NYU. The school is also intentional about who they accept. My parents were born in Cuba. Uh, they came here in um, 1961. Christian Fernandez is on track to become a director. That's significant because according to the Directors Guild of America, only about 13% of new TV directors are non-white. Everyone here is here for a reason, and the reason is to share their voice, share their story. And each, each person's story here is so unique and, and so uplifting because it's different, it's new, and it's, it's refreshing. There's something here that, that's kind of uh, on fire. Victoria will be a producer someday, maybe in Hollywood, she says. For now, there's no place she'd rather be. I couldn't resist the opportunity to be part of this new thing, um, to be part of the inaugural class. Reporting in Brooklyn, I'm Zachary Keish, Fox 5 News.